I've been doing some modifications to my milling machine lately. Uh, I've had this miller, must be ten, between 10 and 12 years now, and I've, I've hardly ever used it, to, to be fair, just for odd occasional job. But just recently I've started doing a lot more uh, hobby work on it, if you, if, if you like. Um, I've had a bit more time to do more hobby work. So what I've been doing, I've been upgrading machine a bit, uh, and I, in my last video, I asked if anybody uh, had heard of this name of this machine. It's a Peerless Machine Tools, and I can't find any information on it uh, anywhere. So if anybody can help me on that, I'd appreciate it. And what, what I did in my last video, I've I shown you how I fitted this complete DRO system to it, but I, I hadn't done the Z-axis. Well, I've now fitted Z-axis, as you can see here, and uh, I've got everything working. And I've shown you on my last video how I'd uh, recycle this aluminium to make some guards for, for X and Y axis. Now, when I fitted, when I've fitted my Z axis recently since my last video um, everything's working fine but I noticed I've noticed in past that the my quill wanted some adjustment to it and I've just really basically never had time to do it and concentrate on it really but I've, I've got time at the moment so that's what I'm doing I'm doing some modifications now I come to uh, I come to modify, not to modify it, I come to adjust it recently and, uh, well, I had a lot of problems really. In the past, somebody's actually modified this this um, fine feed mechanism here to, to, put, to put it on an angle. It should be like horizontal to machine and they've put a packer in here and then uh, various other modifications to get these distances correct for it to work and it's never really worked properly since I've had it so I, I stripped it down the other day uh, to find that well I couldn't adjust it basically and I'll, I'll show you when I've got it stripped down what I mean by I couldn't adjust it uh, now this McQuill has actually got uh, 30,000 of backlash in it and I've put up with that for, since I've had it because I've not been doing that, many, that much work on it but now I've got my DRO system fitted I've come to adjust it I've hit a few more problems as I'll explain shortly. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll strip this, this down, this mechanism, and explain to you why I couldn't adjust it, and how somebody's done a bit of a, a bodge job on it really. So I'll just strip this down and, uh, and come back to you. Right, I took the fine feed off now, and as you can see, somebody's put this spacer on. To, so they could angle the the feed handle downwards toward towards you more. So that's that's had this uh, Heath Robinson spacer put in. And then what happens then? You should be able to to adjust your quill by moving these these bushes on both one on each side um, you should be able to adjust the quill by by rotating them well you can't on this because what's happened is and I've, I've took the bolts out now but it had three bolts in to, to cast in and they were fixed you couldn't you couldn't adjust it at all same on both sides and this is supposed to be able to rotate so you can get some adjustment on your quill uh, so I'll just strip it a bit further and explain to you what's happened 
Right, so I'll just take these these handles off. This um, drilling handle. Put that to one side a minute. Then this fine feed handle, with the engagement handle, comes off. And then we, we come to these, uh, this, um, like a, a ratchet mechanism that engages for your fine feed. It's on a spring, that. And then, back here, it holds this spring in. Somebody's drilled a peg in and threaded it and threaded a, a peg in here to hold this spring in. That, sh that peg shouldn't be there. It should be a key, a keyway. I can just get round and turn that a little bit, you'll see. Right. I think you can see it there. So somebody's drilled this peg in because they've put that plate on to, to get that angle of that handle better for them. They've just drilled a, a peg in here and it should locate on this key here. So, they've moved it from that keyway to this peg, because of that spacer. Then what they've done, whoever's modified it, the bushes here, that are just your quill, they've just screwed them, three, three screws, straight into casting, in three places. So this bush that's an eccentric bush cannot turn to adjust the quill. So what somebody's done, they've, they've basically thought they've adjusted quill correctly, marked them holes off, drilled it, and just fixed them in solid. Which is a bit of a bad engineering practice in my eyes. That spacer shouldn't be on. So these bushes here, I mean the the even steel bushes. They should be they should be bronze bushes running on this uh, steel shaft. So the eccentric on these bushes have not been able to be adjusted because they've been solid on casting. So what I did, I've tried to I've released the the screws. And I've tried to adjust these bushes to eliminate the backlash in my quill. But the bushes, whoever's made them, because they've not, these didn't come with machine. It, it do not even run square, this, this, uh, this flange, to bush. They've pinned it, they've put it on separately and put pins in instead of making it all in one. So, uh, the offset in this bush is not large enough to bring the, uh, the rack and pinion of the quill into, to take the backlash out, if you understand what I mean. So, I'll just take this shaft out. So, this, this gear here should should go into the the rack on your quill and these bushes are on an offset to move the the gear in and out of the quill now this this just won't move it in far enough whoever's done it so what i've done i'm, I'm what i propose to do is uh, make some bronze bushes and make a bigger offset and start from scratch again so uh, that that's that's what I'm proposing to do. Now I've I've put these. Oh, sorry, I've just caught camera there again. I'm limited for space. I've put this bush in the lathe, set it up true, and measured this offset. And one of them is one of them's giving me this side's giving me um, sixty-five thou offset. And the and the other one is is giving me 
a 50 thou offset. Now I've, I've done some calculations and some measurements off camera and I want at least a hundred thou offset to be able to get to be able to get this shaft to be able to adjust on the quill here so I'm in process of making some bronze bushes and then I'm going to machine the bore with a hundred thou offset and uh, what they've done, they've, they've drilled all holes in both sides at casting uh, to fit them flanges and then there's all these other holes where original uh, mechanism must have gone before before they tried to modify it so I'm, I'm going back to standard now so I'll get back to you when I've uh, made a start on my bushes 